Hello and welcome back to Maestropia. In this video I'm going to show you how to learn seven chords really fast on the piano, starting with that one. And I'm also going to show you how to name all of these white keys on the keyboard, which it may surprise you how fast you can learn it. So the first thing I want to show you is how to name any white key on the piano while also learning the musical alphabet that is used, which is A through G. So the first thing you're going to do is find middle C on the piano. So this is where middle C is. The way that you're going to find it is you see how we have two, three, two, the, the, the pairs of two black keys. So wherever you see two black keys, the white key that's just to the left and below is a C. So I want you to start uh, for this video uh, on middle C, but you know, whatever size keyboard you have, you know, any C somewhere in the middle is going to work just fine. So here's our two black keys. Here's a C. If we go up here and find two, that's a C, C, and you see how that works. So then once you found a C, you can name the remaining keys using alphabetical order, which the musical alphabet is A through G. So if this is a C, we go down one, B, A, so we can find, if we go backwards to the alphabet, we find our A, and then from there we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You don't have to play it the way I just did, but after G, we're back to A, and then you see, we're two steps below, oh yeah, that's a C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on for the whole piano. So using alphabetical order or backwards alphabetical order from a C or A, you can now name any white key on the keyboard. So now that we can do that, I'm going to show you how to build seven different chords in root position, which all use the same keyboard shape. So if I'm talking about shape, I'm talking about like which fingers are pressing down, you know, what it looks like on the keyboard when we play it. That's the shape I'm talking about. So first let's find an A on the keyboard. So we know that if we find our two black keys, we find a C, right? We already did this, C, B, A. So now that you found the A, I want you to put your right hand thumb on that key. And that's what we call the first finger. The thumb is one, two, three, four, five. And then the other hand, if we're talking left hand, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you're gonna put your right hand thumb on that A, and then I, for now I just want you to rest your other five finger or four fingers on the white keys in order on the keyboard, right? So now we have these fingers resting on those keys. But all we're gonna do to play this first chord is you're gonna use your first, third, and fifth finger. That's your first chord, and we call that A minor. We won't talk about major, minor, and what all those mean. I'm just going to give you the names for now. But So this is A minor. Now, when I said you keep the same shape, I'm saying we're going to move up one set of white keys, and then we're still going to use the first, third, and fifth finger. That's our next chord. B diminished. B diminished. If we keep moving up, we have C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, and then we said the musical alphabet was A through G, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. What happens after G? It just starts all over again. So now we're back to A. And then it just repeats. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. And same thing if we went backwards. So now I'm back to A, our A minor chord. If we go backwards alphabet, it's still the same order. It's just now G F, E, D. We're just going backwards. So, and you see, that's why we didn't start down low because we don't usually build chords that low on the piano because they start sounding a bit gurgly. So we want to, usually the lowest we're going to build chords might be this area of the piano. We can go lower, but we wouldn't go too much lower than that for most songs. There's a lot more that we can do with these chords using inversions, which is when we're playing the same chord, but we're just what we call inverting it or just kind of rearranging the order of the notes. And I'm not going to cover that in this video, but there's a link above at the top if you want to click on that and learn more about that on your own. 
For this exercise, the left hand is simply playing the bass notes with the first or fifth fingers. So you could either do a single bass note in either finger, or we could play octaves, which would be two of the same note. If you can do that, if you can reach that far, so the, the, whatever the name of the chord is, if we're playing the A chord, right, then our bass note is just going to be a, so here's a C, right, B, A. It's just going to be a single note. And then we have both hands playing the chord and bass note, B minor, C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major. Okay, now you're doing something two hands and you're playing the chords and bass notes. Or if we do the octaves, we do both, we got an A and an A, right? And there you go, there's your first seven chords. Okay, so that's it. I know it's maybe a lot of information still. I'm trying to keep it short for you in this video and we'll try to give you some more of these kinds of hip pocket videos that you can uh, quickly uh, have a better understanding of the keyboard and how to uh, use it for playing actual songs and music and I'll make some more videos that cover you know how to build chords how to invert them and make them sound good with any song that you're playing so please like and subscribe if you haven't already I really want to get to a thousand subscribers so that I'll also have the ability to uh, you know do live videos or do other options. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.